Three point fix, practice problem one. You are on course 157 degrees per standard magnetic compass when you take the following bearings. Little Gull Island, 277 PSC, Race Rack Light, 301 PSC, Latimer Reef Light, 028 degrees PSC. What is your position? We need to take these three bearings they're in PSC or down at compass. We need to take them to true so we can use this outer ring of the compass rose, plot them on the chart and get our position. So let's take these three bearings up to true. Here we go. We're going to set them up with T, V, M, D, C. I'm going to make a, what do you call it, a table keep all this organized. We'll do it for all three. Same way we do them in practice problems two and three. Just like this. Now, we know variation is what? 15 west on this black island chart. For our intents and purposes, we're using 15 west. Now we need deviation, right? We need to apply deviation to all three of these bearings as we work them up. Deviation is based on heading. What is our heading? You are on course 157. That's our heading. H E A D heading equal to 157 degrees P S C, which gives us a deviation of, we'll go to our table, 157. Here we are. 150, 1 west is what we're using. 165 is right in the middle, 157 is below that. We're going to use 1 west. 1 west. So we use the same deviation for all of these bearings because we took these three bearings while on a heading of 157. This is the most common mistake people make. They use the deviation and they base it on these bearings that we will fill in. That's not correct. Deviation is based on heading. So here we are. 1 west for a heading of 157. Now let's record these bearings and convert them to true. Little Gull Island, 277. Little Gull Island at 277 degrees PSC. <clears throat> Race Rock Light at 301. Race Rock Light at 301 degrees PSC. And Latimer Reef Light at 028 degrees PSC. Latimer Reef Light 028 degrees PSC. Now we're going to take these up. And I want to show you something here. There's two components to the compass error. Variation and deviation. If you add them together, you get the full compass error. And I'm going to do that. Compass error equals variation plus deviation. This equals 15 west plus 1 west, or 16 degrees west. Now, when we go up, we subtract west, right? Let's do that. 277. Clear. 277 minus 16 equals 261. 261 degrees True. Now we're in degrees true. This is what we need to get on the chart. Clear. 301 minus 16 equals 285. 285 degrees true. 028. Clear. 28 minus 16 equals 12012 degrees true. All right. Now we can put these on the chart. All right. Put this marker away. Let's get these on the chart. Now I like to put my compass in the middle. Just these so they land on degrees. And now Little Go Island is 261. 261. Little Go Island is right, it's right here. Little Go Island. So, I'm going to line my parallel rules up. Alright. Hold them. Little Gull Island. 
Here we are, lined up with Little Go Island. And now, race rock light is 285. 285 is about 285 is like right here. And it was race rock light. So we're looking somewhere in here. I'm gonna strike a line here. We're somewhere in here. What I just did there was I I guesstimated where race rock light would intersect this bearing so I knew where to draw my line. I don't want to have to strike a line this long. Kind of scale it down. Race rock light, 285. Come to our compass. 270, 285. All right, line that one right up. Race rock light down here line it up with the black dot where do we cross right here all right third little no huh. latimer reef light zero one two or twelve so we go from the center 10 11 12. all right latimer reef is over here i like to start with these open sometimes so i can see where my next step's taking me there we are, close them up, walk them to Latimer Reef. There's this, it's right in the middle. Here we are, we cross. All right, we're pretty close to crossing. The center of this triangle is our position. So let's, let's find the latitude of it, the longitude of it, and compare it to our answers and to see which answer is closer. So I'm going to record them on the whiteboard. Latitude. Latitude equals longitude equals. See, what's the latitude? I always use my dividers finding latitude. Right, here's latitude. Here's longitude. So I go from this point down to a parallel. I, I like to sweep an arc, make sure that I actually hit it, don't go beyond it, I don't fall short. Then you go over, and you go from 10, so 41, 10. 11, 12, 13, 5. 41, 13, 5. I'm just going to record the 13.5, makes it a little easier. Because if you're not in the right degree, you know, 41, then you're quite a ways off. So here we are, find longitude again. So now I go from my point to the closest meridian or the meridian you'd like to use. Go ahead and sweep it, see it hits right on. And now I take it up. And we are at 72 here, but this is 71. 7130, 7140, 7150. 55, 56, 57.3, 71.57.3, 57.3. And now this is how I analyze what, which one is correct. It can be overwhelming. You look at all of these numbers, there's a lot of numbers here and you're working with two down here. So I have a system, I say A, B, C, and D. Let's see which one's closest by comparing each of these. So I say 13.5. If you look at A, it's exactly 13.5. And so is the next one. So both of these are off by zero. The next two, 13.6, 13.6. So these are off by 0.1. Now we add these to how far the longitude is off. 57.3. We got 57.9. That's 0.6 away. 57.4, that is 0.1 away. C, 57, that's 0.3. And D, 57.8, that is 0.5 away. And we add them up and we choose the one which is the smallest number. So 0 plus 0 0.6 is 0 0.6, 0 plus 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. And 0.3 is 0 0.4, 0 0.1, and 0 0.5 is 0 0.6. We are going to choose B because it's the closest. It's only 0.1 away. So three-point fix, practice problem 
one, we're saying the answer is B. Let's check our answers. Three point fix practice problem one is B. That is the correct answer. And there's practice problems two and three after this one if you want more help.